It is my pleasure to welcome Kriti Kakar, um, whose presentation is titled Spectral Features of BCI Signals Recorded from a Stent Road. Our brain is responsible for the movements we make and the words that come out of our mouth. Now just imagine if this pathway from your brain to your body is destroyed. You will lose your ability to eat, speak, move or breathe on your own. Sounds scary, right? 30,000 people in the US alone have a disease called ALS that prevents them from making these communications. Now remember, their brain signals are still active, that is, the commands are being processed, however, they're not reaching the body. The important thing to remember here is that their brain signals are there, so we can record them using electrodes and convert them into something meaningful, like typing on a computer screen or asking them yes or no questions. This process of the brain interfacing directly with a computer is known as brain-computer interface. Now, brain-computer interfaces have been there for a very long time. However, the ones used in ALS and the most efficient ones require open brain surgery. It is highly risky and comes with a lot of problems. Therefore, for my thesis, I am working with minimally invasive electrodes known as the stentrode. Now, the stentrode is placed in the brain using stent technology and does not require any kind of open brain surgery. The stentrode is relatively new and only six people in the US have been implanted with it till date. Once the stentrode is implanted in the brain, we need to find out the spectral features of these signals since it is new. So the participants are made to sit in front of a computer screen and asked to follow cues of movement or of rest. During the rest cue, they are asked to relax and not think about anything. But during the movement cue, they are asked to think about moving their limbs. Now remember, these participants are completely paralyzed and cannot actually move their limbs, but just the thought of it changes their brain signals. And this is what we have to find out. So we plot the power of the rest signals versus the movement signals. And in the last panel, you can see the red is the rest signal and the blue is the movement signal power. And there's a clear difference between the rest and the movement during the gamma and the high gamma frequency band. So when you ask them a question like, hey, would you like to watch a Deadpool movie? If they want to say yes, they will think about moving a limb we will see that difference and we will know that their answer is yes. If you don't see any separation, their answer is a no. Through this groundbreaking technology, we are giving people the power to make choices on their own once again. Thank you.